Welcome back, I am the Executioner, and today we're celebrating 240 subscribers. So, I started this channel about 2016, so that was about six years ago, about five years ago. And I started out as a skeptic. I was actually pretty center-left from what I remember. I was a Democrat. Uh, before that, I was a Republican, but long story. But I was a Bernie Sanders supporter. I supported a lot of that stuff. Then in high school, I kind of got disillusioned with that and I moved towards more of the right, uh, kind of not the alt-right, but kind of like that center left approaching right because of all the messed up stuff that was going on uh, with uh, freedom of speech and stuff. Uh, we all remember those days, 2016, the great meme war, but you can check out my videos. I'll have a playlist celebrating it. Uh, some of my earlier videos. Uh, I did a video with Logical Nomad back in the day where I supported police. Wow, great hot take, but I have changed my opinions. N nowadays, I, I am libertarian. I wouldn't necessarily call myself purely a narco-capitalist. I really disagree with how the movement's been going, but yeah, 240 subscribers. So I first got my avatar about two, three years ago, and yeah, I think I got my avatar before Esoteric Entity, because the thing is, Dapperton got me into that. What I, what I got into was Atomic Ancap really got me into anarcho-capitalism. Then I started focusing on Shane Killian, and I believe it was Mr. Dapperton. Mr. Dapperton hooked me up with uh, Frittle in general, and that's how I got my avatar. And I believe I was the fourth person to get my avatar. Uh, all the other people got their avatars later, but it was Shane me dapperton and somebody else but yeah i'm one of the originals so anyways so there's a playlist down below if you want to check out any other videos my earlier videos my newest videos i'm doing more historically focused videos like 40 acres and a mule but i also did uh tom hartman I did the Rittenhouse coverage, I did uh, some of the long-term malarkey, I defined post-scarcity, which post-scarcity is very hotly defined in anarcho-capitalist uh, circles, but yeah, I've been definitely doing this for a very long time. Um, one of my first videos was Queer Kids What, and that was responding to uh, Queer Kids, that was a YouTube channel back in the day, I think they're around... But, yeah, uh, Riley Dennis, uh, Riley again, Riley, I did, like, three videos on that one. Uh, one on BuzzFeed, uh, My Balls, My Rules, Lacey Green, and I was doing this stuff in high school, I remember, I had a blue snowball microphone, but now I have an Audio Technica now, but, yeah, it's been a long journey, it's been a long journey since, uh, starting the channel about six years ago, in the December of 2016, uh, when I was in high school, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and I was gonna go by True Foul, but fuck that. I, I definitely like what I've gone now, the Executioner. As you can see, my earlier avatar was an image I took online and made it a PNG, but I like my image now. But yeah, I got a new background, I got basically everything new. Uh, I'm working on a couple essays right now. Well, I've taken a bunch of the essays I have written because I start books and I never finish them. So I have 50 pages of uh, essays so far, uh, all compiled in one. I'm planning on releasing that maybe at 280 subscribers or 300, but I definitely got the process going when I saw 240 subscribers. It was 239 for a while, and I'm like, oh shit, should I do something for 240? On my Steam page, you can check out down below, I did an announcement a while back, I think two weeks ago, about 238 subscribers, but this is definitely a milestone. Definitely a milestone. Hope you guys liked the video. Please uh, subscribe, ring the bell, make sure to be notified, and as Shane Killian says, remember to stay free.